In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called transforming the graph of a natural exponential function in finding its domain and range. We're given the graph here y equals e to the x, and we're asked to transform it to make the graph y equals e to the negative x plus 1. And I'll start by recalling that whenever I have a function, if I add a value to the end of that function, such as c here, that when c is positive, this will translate the graph up c units. If c is negative, that would translate the graph down c units. And I'm listing that because our plus 1 on the end of the function has that effect of moving our graph up one unit so the intercept moves up one and every value moves up one but then we also have this negative x where x is being replaced with a negative x and our rule here is that when we replace x with a negative x this creates a mirror across the y-axis so taking the blue graph where we have shifted up one unit and then mirroring across the y-axis would give us this sort of shape so we've shifted up one and then mirrored across the y-axis from here our domain is going to be all of our possible x values we could plug any x value in so our domain is going to be negative infinity to positive infinity not inclusive our range, however, is going to be all of our possible y values, but we can see that it's approaching the line y equals 1 as an asymptote, so our y value could never be as low as negative 1, so our possible y values would be all y values greater than 1, so not including 1, that 1 is non-inclusive, and it would continue to go up all the way to a positive infinity. 